As you know, we have a fantastic live, yes, that's right, live conference coming up, Empowered Investor Live, and that is in Orlando, September 10th, 11th, and 12th. We start Friday with a property tour, then all day Saturday and Sunday we have the conference, Saturday evening we have a band, some entertainment, some fun, and I am very excited to announce my buddy George Gammon will be speaking there, and George, welcome. What are you going to be talking about? There's a lot we could talk about. <laughs> it's a very interesting world we live in right now, isn't it? There's no shortage of news nowadays, is there? <laughs> Insane news, that's right. But I think for real estate investors, especially people who understand the value of 30-year fixed rate debt, the, the main thing that they should be, or one of the things that I would suggest uh, they really understand is the probability that we see inflation long-term. And so you hear a lot of debate out there as to whether or not we see deflation outright, uh, inflation, disinflation, or whether inflation itself is transitory or something more permanent like we saw in the 1970s. And if I'm a real estate investor leveraging properties, uh, positive cash flowing properties with 30 year fixed rate debt, this is something that I want to educate myself on. In other words, uh, what are the variables that go into the United States seeing these types of inflation outcomes in the future. So that boils down to the dollar, right? So it's, it's supply and demand. How many dollars are circulating in the real economy chasing goods and services? And then what is the supply of those goods and services uh, in relationship to the demand the additional dollars are creating. So we've got to think through what happens to the balance sheet or the amount of dollars on the balance sheet of what I call non-bank entities in the real economy. So that's just, uh, you know, average Joe, Jane, uh, small businesses, mid-sized businesses, corporations, etc. That's what we really have to focus on. So in the past, the dollars were created by the commercial banking system, really lending them into existence. So if you took out a mortgage for $500,000, then that would be new money that did not exist before. New dollars, probably better said, that did not exist before. Uh, we've moved into a hybrid system where now the government with their deficit spending that is monetized by the Fed is really contributing, let's say, <laughs> to the amount of dollars. Contributing, you use loosely, a nice right? word. Yeah. It's a, that's a nice yeah. word, right? right. Uh, to the amount of dollars that are circulating. So now we've moved from an economic question to a political question. Like how much uh, are we going to get gridlock from the uh, Republicans, the Democrats within the Democratic Party? Is there going to be some sort of uh, gridlock or are we going to go from a four trillion dollar stimulus package to a 10 trillion to a 20 trillion? What are the probabilities there? Because that we're, really we're going to infinity and beyond. I believe so. Yeah. But that determines, you know, how many of those dollars are getting out there. And then therefore the probability of inflation, disinflation, deflation, uh, temporary inflation, permanent inflation, et cetera. Uh, and then I think there's a third option that we might move into in the future. And this is what I want to discuss all this really with the people who will attend. But the third option is the central bank digital currency. And that's where the Fed now takes control over the amount of dollars that are circulating in the system. So they look around and say, well, wait a minute here. We're the central bank, but we're not central to anything. Uh, people think we control the dollar, but we don't. They want to uh, control it a lot more than they do. That's yeah. right. So they can control the rate of inflation. So why do they want to control the rate of inflation? Because they need to bail out your drunk, insolvent Uncle Sam. Yep. <laughs> it's like you always say, you know, you've been saying this for years and you're right on the money that for a real estate investor, you want to align your interests with the government. Uh, unfortunately, as bad as that is to, to say, right. at least when it comes to the, the devaluation of the dollar and you look around and your drunk, insolvent Uncle Sam is the largest debtor in human history. Therefore, to be bailed out, to get that debt to GDP down from 130 or 140% down to something that's more manageable, say 75%, uh, they need a 1970s uh, right. stag or inflation at least. And I think it'll lead to stagflation. But the only way that we can uh, have a high probability of that outcome is if the Fed takes control of the dollar, therefore a central bank digital currency. So what I want to do with the people who attend is, is go through these three different systems 
of creating dollars and then uh, give them the tools necessary so they can figure out what they think the probabilities are that we get one of those four or five outcomes and then they can set up the their portfolio in accordance to what they think the highest probability outcome will be and when i say set up their portfolio i'm not just talking about taking out 30 year fixed rate debt but what's your ltv on that you know some people might want to if they think there's a 90 percent probability that we have a central bank digital currency and long-term stag inflation stagflation they may want a higher LTV than someone that uh, you know thinks there is a possibility that we see some sort of disinflation while we see these inflationary spikes. Right. You so know? adjust your loan to value ratio based on how you see this playing out, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. And then one of the things that I'll try to drive home through showing them the data is what I believe now and in the future, real estate investors need to understand that the property is now actually the liability on the balance sheet and the 30 year fixed rate debt is actually the asset yeah it's and counterintuitive that, you know very counterintuitive yeah very a lot counterintuitive of people, but a lot people, of people need to get, get their, their mind or, yeah. yeah they need to get their head around it but they need to understand why mm -hmm. and understanding why will help the investors that attend this conference make better decisions moving forward yeah, good stuff. And George, everybody can register at empoweredinvestor.com. Just go to empoweredinvestor.com, get your tickets. A whole bunch of other people already have. We're going to have a great time. People love our events. You know, I was looking back and trying to calculate the number of events I've held over the many years, including mastermind retreats, which are smaller retreat style events, maybe 20, 25 people and right. big conferences with hundreds of people. I think we're up to about 130, 140 events. Wow. So we've, we've done this a lot. And you used to be in the event business, I know, in, in your prior life. You know, we know how to make it fun, deliver a lot of value for people. These are times that you know more than ever in in the last 18 years since i've been helping investors invest nationwide this is the time where you really got to be paying attention more that's than right. ever that's right that's right and you know at the same time there's a lot of crazy and i would say bad stuff happening there's a lot of opportunity at the same time and, and just look at what all these institutional now rental firms are doing like american homes for rent and all the big private equity and hedge fund groups i mean they are capitalizing on this aren't they george they are they are but there's some unprecedented things going on i mean we're yeah. seeing home prices go through the roof but we're seeing rents do the same thing yeah and usually there's a there's a a counterbalance there, right? right? If if home prices get too high, then people favor rent. And then you'll see kind of the, the home prices soften a little bit. And it's the same thing when uh, when rents get too high, then home ownership looks more attractive. And then they'll put a little, uh, you know, headwind on, on the rent. But we're just seeing whether it's home prices or rental prices, we're just seeing them go up, 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 up and up. And uh, that's a very weird dynamic. And I think people need to understand the macroeconomic influences as to why we're seeing that dynamic. So again, they can set up their portfolio in a strategic manner to take advantage of that. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, sounds good, George. I have one other question for you. On Saturday night when we have the band, are we gonna see you on the dance floor? <laughs> well how many of you want to see george gammon dancing only if it's salsa <laughs> that's the yeah that's the uh i did that tv show in medellin and that was one of the episodes we did uh that's kind of the comedic relief of the episode is when i went and took a a, a dance lesson a, a salsa lesson so and, so, uh, so you say you're a better economist was. <laughs> I don't know if I could be worse. Uh, I couldn't be a worse dancer. So uh, when, when you compare my dancing skills to anything, I'm going to be a better I'm going to be better at anything else than, than dancing. That's for oh, sure. Oh, I, I bet he's being overly modest there, folks. No, I'm but actually that, not. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, hey, we're really looking forward to your talk at Empowered Investor Live. It was great being with you at your conference, uh, Rebel Capitalist Live. I was a speaker there, yeah. and uh, that was several months ago. That was a lot of fun. You've got another one of those coming up in Houston, I believe, yeah. in January, right? Yep, January 7th through the 9th. Good stuff. Well, good stuff. Well, hey, we'll look forward to seeing you in Orlando, Florida, September 10th, 11th, and 12th. 
empoweredinvestor.com for your tickets. And George, thanks for joining us for this special announcement. No problem, buddy. Look forward to seeing you in Orlando. 